do the AI companies and the countries in this sort of arms race of AI have this first mover advantage thing all wrong? There's this current sort of philosophy in AI space that the first con country or the first company inside that country to reach AGI, whatever, however we define that, wins out. They get the advanced AI, then they can use that to iterate and build itself and it gets faster and faster and they get this lead which no one else can reach. Now, what if that wasn't the case though? What if, like we see in many other areas of tech, there's no first mover advantage here? We've seen from, you know, MySpace to Facebook to all kinds of other examples in technology that the first movers are the ones that sort of pay the toll. They pay the price, they develop something, and because they're the first movers in the space, they don't do it quite right. And they get superseded or, or taken over by the second or third mover in the space. Now, Apple, the company Apple is famous for doing this. They're almost never a first mover in the space. They wait for other companies to develop technology. They didn't develop the first uh, smartphone. They didn't develop the first sort of uh, iPad or the first tablet. They waited for others to do it. Then they have sort of thought about it. They designed a better experience and then they dominated the market. What if this is the case with AI? What if the first movers don't capture what they think they're gonna capture? What if the second movers and third movers actually win out? An interesting analogy for this might be social media. So you could say that the US was absolutely the first mover in social media space. All the dominating original social media companies were in the US, but overall their population took a large toll particularly the young people particularly young females were harmed by social media so was that a good thing to be a first mover in that space it turned out that it wasn't so much so what if the same thing happens here with ai what if the first movers in the space are not the ones that long term will dominate because they're going to make mistakes they're going to pay a lot of tolls to get there because they're figuring it out as they're designing their products they're not going to make the most beautiful the most useful products. Waiting, being a second or third mover, is difficult. It requires patience, it requires self-control. Humans are not great at that. We see this race happening. These CEOs get excited. Everyone wants to jump in. Everyone wants to be part of this race. They want to win, they want to dominate. And so our psychology in this instance works against us. It works against these companies to some degree and it works against some of this idea in the brains and minds of the CEOs running these companies. So I just wanted to throw this idea out there that what if this philosophy that the AI companies all have, that they have to get there first, is backwards. Now, if you learn anything from almost all other examples of technology and software, that is often the case, that the second and third movers end up dominating because they learn from the trials and errors of the first movers. And we're seeing a bit of this with AI at the moment, that these the first movers, the ones where we see the hallucinations, the deep fakes, the issues, um, people have lost trust in certain platforms. And the AI companies are, of course, aware of this and they're working hard to undo this. But just imagine a new AI company enters the race. They release a beautiful product and they've waited till all those problems are solved. So they get none of this negative association. So maybe this mentality needs a slight rethink and it's worth thinking about this because the downsides to this sort of arms race from countries to companies so this race all the way down um, is going to have collateral there's going to be collateral effects it is going to upend things the speed at which these companies are moving they're not going to have the time to check to run all the safety checks to do all the things they need to do and they should be doing because of this race mentality so I want to just throw this video out there sort of to encourage people to flip things around the other way and think about an advantage to a second, third or fourth mover in this space. Like we've seen historically over many different physical hardware products and software that the people that wait a moment, observe, let the first movers make the mistakes and then step in and dominate with a better, more superior, more trustworthy product. What if that's the case with AI?